There's not a job out there I won't take. So long as the pay's good and a crossbow can solve it. Take them all down, one bolt at a time. When thinking about each new class, we really try to think about how we can make combat feel different from all the others. For the mercenary, that difference is the crossbow. A crossbow is fundamentally different than a regular bow because it fires instantly instead of needing to be drawn back. This means that you need immediate feedback. Clicking the fire button should make the character shoot instantly, just like in a shooter. As soon as we experience that, we realize that there are a lot of design lessons to learn from shooters, and so we fully embraced them. In Path of Exile 2, we have crossbows that work like sniper rifles, shotguns, and assault rifles. But in order to really get shooter-like gameplay, we wanted to go further. In Path of Exile 2, we now support WASD movement. You can now walk around in any direction independent of aiming. In fact, if this is your preferred method of gameplay, you can use it on any class, regardless of what weapon type you're using. You can change between click to move or WASD at any time. You can only hold two crossbows at a time, but Path of Exile 2 is all about interesting combinations of abilities, and this is where ammo skills come in. This is a burst shot crossbow, and right now I have armor-piercing ammo equipped, which makes it very effective when facing a group of enemies, since it pierces right through them. Bloody horrors! But there are other ammos too. For a bigger single target, it might be a good idea to switch to incendiary. The more projectiles hit the target, the stronger the ignite, so you'll want to get up nice, close and personal with this one. If you have a bunch of targets running at you, you might want to slow them down. In this case, you could switch to permafrost burst shot. Shooting a bunch of smaller enemies at range will chill them, and potentially even freeze them in place. Once you have some frozen enemies though, you can switch back to armor piercing. Shooting a frozen enemy with armor piercing burst shot will explode the ice, doing a huge amount of damage to all nearby enemies. Another feature crossbows have is attachments. This is a grenade launcher. As you can see, when I equip it, it appears on the underside of the crossbow. These attachments are just like skill gems, so you effectively get extra skill slots. And you can augment these with support gems, just like regular skills. These grenades take a while to explode, so it's a good idea to pair them with some kind of crowd control, like permafrost burst shot. We have other grenades too though. This attachment is a flash grenade. It does barely any damage, but it does a huge amount of stun. It can be a great opener before you run into combat. Surprise! Now here's another attachment, an oil grenade. Firing one of these grenades coats the ground and nearby enemies in oil. Oil slows enemies down, so it's another useful crowd control mechanic. Now, another thing that oil can do is be set on fire. Any burning enemy or explosion will ignite the oil, causing extra burning damage. One of the problems with burst shot crossbows is that each pallet doesn't do much damage individually. This means that if enemies have armor, then it will be very effective preventing that damage. But thankfully, you can equip an additional crossbow in your second weapon set to deal with the weaknesses of your primary weapon. This is a rapid shot crossbow. Rapid shot is great for closing on enemies because you can shoot while running. In Path of Exile 2, we now have the ability to allow you to use some skills while moving. Being able to create skills like this opens up a lot of new design space, and allows us to really increase the pace of combat.
the armor-piercing version of Rapid Shot slowly erodes a monster's armor. Once the armor is fully broken, you can easily switch back to Burst Shot to deal much more damage. Being able to run while shooting with Rapid Shot is also great for when you want to perform a fighting retreat. Reload. Using permafrost ammo with Rapid Shot is also useful if you need to retreat. When you shoot the ground, it creates ice crystals. If you draw monsters back over these crystals, they explode, chilling the monsters. It's great if you want to set up a safe zone before pulling the next pack. Slowing enemies down can come in handy if you want to use the incendiary version of Rapid Shot. Using this skill requires that you charge up a little bit before it fires, but as it continues to heat up it will do more and more damage. It has a really large clip size, so you can just keep firing and firing with it. But the other really useful feature is that when the crossbow is heated up, it adds extra fire damage to any grenade that you launch. Now I've been using explosive grenades here, but it will work equally as well with flash or oil grenades too. If you use it with oil grenades, the oil will catch fire immediately. Another crossbow type that you can find is Power Shot. This one works just like a classic sniper rifle. Use it with armor-piercing ammo and it will penetrate armor on targets. So it's a good idea to use when something's really tough. Back down or die. Now this skill has another interesting interaction with armor break. If an enemy has its armor broken, then your Power Shot hits a weak spot and does a huge amount of single target damage with a bunch of extra stun for good measure. Bullseye. Now, the incendiary version of Power Shot is more like a rocket launcher. It does a big explosive blast at a distance. One of the really useful features of this version is that you can explode any grenades that happen to be on the ground. This combo also works really well with incendiary rapid shot. I'm going to charge up the heat on my crossbow, shoot out a bunch of grenades and then start the fireworks with a power shot. The ice version of Power Shot creates frost walls at a distance. This is great for crowd controlling monsters and tight passages. The wall segments have other uses too. If they get destroyed by monsters, then they will explode, doing a small amount of damage. Now, remember that burst shot combo with frozen enemies we did earlier? That works with ice walls too. Let's put burst shot back on. Now I can fill up this area with ice walls, then shoot them with armor piercing burst shot for a huge amount of damage. Alright, it's time to face the boss for this area. Let's see how we fare against her with all the skills I've shown you so far. Oh, I say I shall take pleasure in your 
That's the mercenary. It feels totally different than anything we've made before, and shows you the range of what's possible in Path of Exile 2. 